Welcome to today's Maths Year 4. The learning intention is to solve problems presented in bar charts and tables. You'll need a pencil, paper and a ruler. Pause here, gather the resources and neatly write down your date and learning intention. Well done everyone. For our number warm up, we have a link at the top that's going to take you to a site where you can have a go with place value activities. This is another pause point. After you're done, you'll return to the slide and carry on with the place value challenge on the screen. So pause here and have a go. For time tables practice, use the link on the top to access the game. To recap what we've learned, use the link to go to the bite size page and um, explore ways data can be displayed. This is recapping prior learning. We know pictograms are charts that use pictures to show data. Just another way information can be presented. So if we look at the image, we have a key at the top which tells us the value of each picture in the pictogram. In this key, a pizza image equals four pizzas. So where you see half a pizza, the value is going to be half of four, so that equals two pizzas. Another word for pictogram is pictograph. Do you remember our science sound topic earlier in the year, year four? Well, here we have a table and a bar chart template says Yasmin and Ahmed listen to sounds through different materials. This is a table of their results. So they've collected what they've found out and they've written it out on the table. The materials they've used are water, wood, steel and air. And they've indicated how loud the sounds were with the number of ticks beside each material. Has the data been presented clearly? So on the right, you have a bar chart. Your task is to transfer the information from the table Yasmin and Ahmed have provided to us onto the bar chart. So you've got your vertical and horizontal axis. Remember to give your bar chart a title. Pause here to complete the task. For the one star task, we have three different pictograms. On here is the first pictogram on pizza types. Question one, which is the least favorite pizza type? Question two, how many more children voted for cheese and tomato and vegetarian than Hawaiian? Pause, look at the pictogram and answer the questions. On the following slide, you'll see the answer so you can do your check. Here are the two remainder pictograms. Ice cream flavours. Which flavour was the most popular? Which flavour was the least popular? How many more vanilla ice creams were eaten than strawberry? And the final pictogram on eye colour. How many people have brown eyes? Which eye colour is the most popular? How many more people have blue eyes? than green. Pause, 
Look carefully at the key. The key represents the value of each image and answer the questions. On the following slide, you can do your check. For the two star task, here is some information about the number of tickets sold for a concert. The information is presented on a table with the days of the week and beside it the number of tickets sold. On Monday, 55 tickets were sold. On Tuesday, 30 tickets. Wednesday, 45 tickets. Thursday, 75 tickets. On Friday, there were 85 tickets sold. Jack starts to create a bar chart to represent the number of concert tickets sold during the week. To the right, look at Jack's bar chart. What advice would you give Jack about the scale he has chosen? On the vertical axis, his scale goes up in steps of one. What would be a better scale to use? Is there anything else missing from the bar chart? Pause the video to answer the questions. Halifax City Football Club sold the following number of season tickets. Male adult, 6,382. Female adult, 5,000. 850. Boys, 3,209. Girls, 5,057. Would you use a bar chart, table or pictogram to represent this data? Look closely at the numbers of season tickets for the different people. After making your choice of how the data could be represented, explain why. Alex wants to use a pictogram to represent favourite drinks of everyone in her class. Alex says, I will use this image to represent five children. And the one glass of squash there, as you can see, represents five. Explain why this is not a good idea. Pause here while you answer the questions. Let's go through the answers. Halifax City Football Club. I would represent the data on a table because it would be difficult to show the exact numbers accurately on a pictogram or a bar chart. For each group of people, you have four digit numbers and it would be accurately represented on a table. Moving on to Alex's pictogram. And the question was, why was a pictogram not a, a good idea to present the data? It is not a good idea because it would be difficult to show amounts which are not multiples of five. Jack has shown us his bar chart and he uses a scale going up in steps of one to represent the number of tickets sold during the week. So the advice you could give Jack would be to use a different scale for his bar chart because the numbers are quite large. And if he carried on in steps of one, he needs an enormous bar chart. It would be sensible to use a scale that goes up in steps of five, because the numbers are all multiples of five. What is missing on his bar chart? Jack has managed to leave out a title, 
and he has no labels for the vertical and the horizontal axis, the X and Y axis. On Purple Mash, you have a blog page. On the home page, click on the sharing icon. The picture on the middle shows you the page you go to next. Click on shared blogs and two icons appear. One says a year for blog and the next year for science. There's a learning intention saying to interpret bar charts inside the year for blog. Have a go with reading the questions, looking at the bar chart and answering them year four. <clears throat> Stay safe until next time.